and as yes for the gamers, my name is it. How you guys doing? Today I do have another banger video for you, and this time it is about warframes and weapons that literally give me destiny vibes. Before playing Warframe, that was a time where I only played Destiny, but um, that lasted until the second part of Destiny came out, and I was not that interested anymore, because I basically lost all the things I loved in uh, Destiny 1. I mean, I, I know they brought some things back, like this beautiful, very beautiful weapon, uh, the Foreign, my favorite weapon in Destiny, by the way. They brought it back to the second part, but um, it was not the same anymore, and, you know, swapping to Warframe was one of the best things that literally ever happened to me, you know. Um, also... I'm very, very happy I bought this weapon. Like, as you can see, magazine. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. It was hand designed by someone, can't remember, but... Either way, um, super cool weapon. This is my favorite weapon from uh, Destiny, along with the uh, Monte Carlo and the Last Ward. But um, those are the weapons you're gonna see now. Actually, before getting started, there's one short thing I want to mention. I want to mention my collaboration with Bloodstained Games. They have made, in my opinion, a very good game, currently only uh, available for Android. So um, if you want to make sure to check out that game, make sure to click on the link in the description down below. And this is what you can expect. You're going to see some gameplay. You're going to hear me reflecting about the game. And to quote myself, actually, a great game. Give it a try. Okay, let's get started. For the frames that can give you Destiny vibes. Well, starting off, we have the Wisp. Um, this kind of reminds me of the Hunter class in Destiny, if you're familiar with that. Then again, you could also go with Ibarra. There's also a nice crossover picture I've seen on the internet for Ibarra that kind of like makes her look like a hunter. You can see that here. Then again, my personal favorite is Wisp, as she just has this Cyandana, and she just has like this hunter huntress look you know um and that's one thing i do like very much about her when it comes to other frames you can use uh meg because meg uh, represents the looks of the warlock i, I don't have um, a, a meg look but um this is how you could make her look Since we now mentioned the Hunter and the Warlock class, there's one class that's left to remain. The Titan class. If you remember who this is without me telling you, then you, sir, are a true OG. Of course, talking about Zavala here, the head of the Titans. Um, not sure if you remember, that was a helmet called the Saint-14, something like that. So I tried to have that. Sadly, we can't have that purple um, on the helmet, uh, you know, which uh, represents that very energetic look. But um, then again, it looks pretty nice. Just imagine you have a shader from that, uh, what's it called? It was not that orbit, it was um, New Monarchy. Yeah, just imagine we have a shader from New Monarchy and it's all like uh, red and white. So um, yeah, for the Titan class, I used Stianax or Stianax, um, as I think he represents the Titan class very, very well. You can also go with Gauss, but I think Stianax just does the best job here, hands down. Alrighty, moving on to the weapons, I used the Euphona Prime and I named it the Last Ward. The Last Ward is a hand cannon or a pistol from uh, Destiny and it used to shoot at a very high rate. Let me show you. You can also see the hand cannon like spinning when you shoot, which is very nice too. Either way, here's some actual gameplay of the Last Ward. Enjoy. Moving on to the second weapon, I used the Stalta and I named it the Monte Carlo. It's also one of my favorite weapons in Destiny back then. Along with the Vanquisher, it was a weapon from the New Monarchy, if you remember. But the Monte Carlo was just... Oh, dude, this weapon was something else. Like, I know it doesn't look perfect. Here's an image of how it actually looks like. I know it's not recreated perfectly, but I tried my best and I think it doesn't look too bad, actually. During the gameplay, which is going to come soon, you're going to see how the weapons actually perform against enemies on Steel Path, that they're still viable, and actually very, very fun to use as well. Okay, before we get to that though, first we're getting to my favorite part, the Thorn. Look at this weapon. It, it just looks... it looks so cool. Like, I, I know it's not 100% perfect, but for me, that's good enough. It just looks amazing. Like, 
shooting of this is just so good. Fun fact, I also equipped plus a zoom on most of the weapons. Um, also have a nice ribbon, by the way, um, because I like having the plus zoom as it just zooms in. Here's some actual gameplay of the Fort in Destiny, so you can kind of like see how the weapon performs, how it looks, and well, yeah. So as you saw in those Destiny clips, um, the perspective of you holding a weapon is way different. So that's why I use plus assume to give me more of a Destiny vibe when I'm actually shooting, you know.
Guardian down. That's gonna do it for this video. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you awesome people in the next one.